Now, thanks for staying with us. If you're just tuning in, we're discussing the griefs and gains of Forex trading. Do you have a personal experience that you'd love to share with us? Please send us a message. Let's hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join this conversation. Tweet at us at WaitShowAfrica1 with the hashtag WaitShow or send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 81 803 So, Elijah, you're so real. Like, I'm loving... I mean, okay, see, someone just sent a message now. Atinuke from Lekki, I love your guest learn a skill and solve problems i mean people are already in love with you i mean ak is in love with you but let me come to ak before i take a, another question <laughs> okay very interesting um i just want to ask a question i'm sure so many people watching this that how much does it take to start so if i want to start tomorrow <laughs> what's the minimum amount what are the minimum requirements to even start as a forex trader hmm. do you have you wondered how much warren buffett started with if you mention Warren, but most of these guys in Wall Street, because I studied them, Warren Buffett, start from the era of B. Williams. B. Williams is late, and it's interesting to know that his daughter, Williams, died at the age of 80, I think in 2018, if I'm not mistaken, and his daughter took over from him to manage the um, trading uh, firm, and then Warren Buffett has his own story too. Now, although Warren Buffett has a slightly comfortable background, now, it will interest you to know that it's good you always start big to in big, but beyond starting big to in big is starting with the right mind. Hmm. Are you teachable? Do you have a learnable um, spirit? Hmm. Because can you be, a lot of persons don't take no for answer. Can you accept rejection? Imagine you propose to a lady you love so much, <laughs> and the lady tells you no, you feel like committing suicide. <laughs> Sorry to use that word, but some persons do actually. Mm -hmm. Uh, and they are, oh, she, she, and then they, they have suicidal thoughts. It's either they want to kill themselves or they want to harm the lady. Mm. That is uh, what do you call it. That is the name they call it in, in social uh, psychosocial. I can't place my mind on mm. that now, but something about uh, psychosocial response to rejection, something mm. like that. Now, forex trading would teach you more than that, treat you more, more than worse. that, worse wow. than that. Yeah, yes, like, actually. If you cannot accept rejection, don't come into forex trading. That's just the truth. You need to get the right mind first. So I would say it's not about how much you have. It's about how well you're able to learn from your mistake and let a bad trade go. Hmm. Okay. So as I am like this now, it means you're telling me that you must have a good shock observer. Exactly. Be able to absorb the... <laughs> and let exactly. the bad... <laughs> you know, so for, but there's something interesting that I've noticed about Forex traders. They know how to speak all the grammar. In fact, it's like they have an encyclopedia in their head. And me that I don't have... I don't know book. I don't, I don't want to learn book. I don't know... Like, so how would, you, how would you manage for people that are not so... Um, in, so they are, they are not voracious readers? Because I see that most times when I speak to people that are into trading, right, they're actually quite vast. In, in knowledge acquisition, right? Is it possible to be able to have those people that are not vast mentally or they do not have the mental capacity to learn so much and yet be successful trading? Well, first things first, <laughs> I believe that anybody, I, I just said it, that everybody must not trade and anybody can be a trader. Mm. It's, it's just that in our country, uh, I, although we have some new trading houses that are springing up, I wouldn't recommend anybody to go into uh, invest their funds or invest their money into such because I'm, I'm not saying they are bad or they are fraud. I'm saying that it's something that I'm still conducting my, mm. my own research on to mm -hmm. know because we need to know the regulations and the rest. If you go to countries like US and UK, they have hedge funds. They have very different portfolio. And these people are regulated by government and various financial institutions. So they can actually, uh, the public can actually invest with them and their, their funds are safe with them because mm. they have they have experts, professional certified traders managing these things. So if you know you don't want to trade, your money can work for you. But if you want to learn how to trade, Zig Ziglar once said that the, uh, success, the uh, elevator to success are always out of service. Mm. But the stair, stairways are always out. They are they're always, they're always open. So don't deceive yourself. You went to school to read medicine for seven years, Abi. Mm -hmm. You read engineering. I read engineering for five years, or seven years. Mm -hmm. You read physics. Very interesting. <laughs> and then you switch over to journalism. <laughs> and then you, what did you, uh, uh, AK, what did you study? <laughs> human anatomy. Uh, human, that is even six years in Uniben. <laughs> so anatomy is six years in University of Benin where I studied. Just imagine you spend that long year studying something in our education system that uh, when you come outside, you know that, you know, I don't want to go into that. Yeah, I, don't I, don't want to, use I don't want to start put, putting pressure on government, but they know what I'm saying. <laughs> our education system is nothing to write home about. Mm. And then when you come outside, 
you start looking for means to survive. She's not in then the bank. What <laughs> makes you think that you go and learn forest from Ikeja because it's that there? Mm. Ikeja is our own worst street. <laughs> <laughs> when you go to Ikeja, they will teach you how to treat all that one week, three months, and start making millions. You deceive yourself. If you want to be a successful forest ranger, it takes a lifetime process. Mm. You have to emerge, you have to grow into it. And one thing has to do with the mind. Trading is more psychological than analytical. Mm. I'm not saying that you don't analyze, but of course we need to mm. analyze the charts. But the best traders in the world are the people that trade on the naked chart. They don't even use too many, many all these algorithms. Use this robot or so this one. It will always fail. Mm -hmm. No, nothing will give you 100% success. It might work in some certain instance, as some certain market um, behaviors, but it might change. So it's not better you keep equipping yourself with knowledge, the mm -hmm. right knowledge. Mm -hmm. Keep equipping yourself. Those people that don't like watching news, I'm going to, <coughs> mm -hmm. I'm going to attack our, not really attack per se. I want to tackle our, our ladies. You know, I'm very passionate about women. Most times, when I, it's always a norm. You rarely see women reading newspapers, mm. except the very educated and elite ones. Mm. When you go to a, a, a common local Please. Um, bar, mm. let's say you go to where people come to drink, mm. you see so, men, they will come with newspapers to mm. read and drink. Mm -hmm. Even though they might not be very good in the analysis, but you see them, they're always passionate. But women actually read, they read soft cell. They read all the, you know, mute and booms. <laughs> they read. <laughs> and I, well, whose fault is that? And I, that you know what I'm saying. <laughs> so when they, you, say, so, you really see women reading. I, I like to see women as you difference. are trying to pound the yam in the kitchen. You're also looking at the newspaper if you will not get your food burned. My, mm. my point is, people should learn how to be knowledge savvy. Don't always be carried away by too much entertainment. Mm. Enough of, I'm, I'm not going to say it's bad to be involved in entertainment, but balance it. So if you really want to be a successful trader, mm -hmm. you need to be very knowledgeable. Very, you need to watch the news. Watch CNN, watch NTA, watch all of them. Business news. Watch business news. Understand what stock market is talking yeah. about. Understand this, understand. Read. If you don't know, ask questions. Research. Do you know during the lockdown, during this lockdown, we were locked down at home. It's a, it's a, it was a time to reinvent yourself. During that time, I, I had the opportunity of participating in some free training in the globe like the, there was a training conference that was organizing that was being organized in us at that time and the people that were facilitating that conference were top shots in wall street hmm. and then i remember this one bolinja have you heard of the um you must okay you must have heard about bolinja band since you have an idea of uh, you have an idea of uh, uh, forex trading have you heard about bolinja yes. band hmm. Do you know the person that found uh, that the person that actually I, the name sounds familiar yes, yes. john john bolinja that's his name John Bollinger is very much alive. He's in the U.S. He's, an, he's very old, maybe in his 60s or 70s. Now, this John Bollinger was one of the facilitators of that conference during the lockdown last year. Mm. I saw it online. I was searching. I saw it. I like, wow, I register because these people, if you want to go for their trainings or you maybe spend you spend money. thousands of dollars, I can't afford it. Mm. But when I saw it, it was free. Wow, I just quickly signed Registered. up. And then it was time. I have to be awake. You know, when we are like six the hours time, ahead. Yeah. yeah. So when, my, when people are sleeping at home, I'm busy listening to John Bollinger. Listening to this one, learning from this, you have to you have to invest in knowledge, mm. gain skills. You right. Remember that forex trading is all about making. It's not all about driving G wagon. Mm. It's but all about would, learning but, skills. But if, if we go back to our topic, the gains is that you get G wagon. Yes. So in but what are the grown, In the long run, in the long <laughs> run, if you can, be, you don't see it's that doesn't have, get bad. If you're gaining more than you're losing. Mm. The thing is that you can't expect to start with a hundred dollar and expect to make one million dollar in a short time. It's a lie. Mm. It's possible after a long time compounding and all those technicalities. But you are busting too many people's bubbles. I'm sorry to say, but it's the truth. I have to tell you the bubbles. truth. Yes, it's possible to grow a hundred dollar. You can start from you know, target from hundred to five hundred, five hundred to a thousand. Mm. Start making it little by little. But for you to even grow from one dollar to two dollars, do you know how much is? The amount of skills you need hmm. because you need to manage your psychology you will win you have lose winning streak i was like oh okay okay i think i'm too good you're not too good hmm. when you start going on and on without checkmating yourself you blow up your account whoa so the the trading is a game of probability nobody you can't always have it all even warren buffett doesn't win every time hmm. but a good trader loses less than he wins or he wins more than he loss and he mm. learns how to cut his loss mm. and he's not emotionally attached mm. to one single trade so that's why the world state risks very little mm. so that the outcome of one single trade will not affect your overall outcome it's always a series of trades that with this after a series of trades you will be profitable you always have each trade let me give you this this experiment when we were in secondary school we did probability and you did your so you did physics so i'm mm. sure you did probability now if you have 50 black balls mm. and 20 red balls and how many? 10, ten, red bo ten, ten white, white balls. balls. So that's 80, right? Mm. Now, these 80 balls, you put them inside, you put them inside a glass cylinder 
or something, a, a prop, and then you, sh you shuffle it. And they ask the you to... The, po the possibility of picking a white ball? Yes. The, what is the possibility? Uh, what, which of the balls have the highest, highest uh, chances of being picked? It's the one that has the highest number. The black ball. The, the, the black ball, right? Mm. Because it's 50, right? Mm. Now, but do you, at that point in time, do you know that, do you know if they close your eye and mm. ask you to pick anyone, mm. arbitrarily, just pick anyone, do you know whether you're going to pick a black boy or a white boy? No. You don't know. Mm -hmm. That's the way trading is. Nobody knows the outcome of a particular trade. Only God. You can't know the outcome. Even though, yes, it's the truth. I'm telling you, people mm. don't understand. Initially, I was thinking that when I started, because I'm self-taught, I read books, I learn, mm. I, I Google, and then I search for free conferences I can attend. attend yeah. Because I can't pay ten, ten, tens of thousands of but dollars. But although I'm trying to go professional, so mm. it will get to a stage where I need to maybe go and learn more mm. and acquire, gain right... Uh, uh, professional certification so that we can come to salvage people like but us people in like you when you become certified i would rather have you train more people because why even in the certification you don't you did not just wake up to get certified you grew through the process of getting certified so it's easier for me to learn from you all right so Eki, let's take some comments first let me get a comment in from our audience um yes i would read my comment but I, I, again i would say you are busting so many bubbles and so many myths about <laughs> the people down to blow overnight yes, let so. me read this <laughs> go ahead <laughs> your guest says he's looking forward to more female participation how has he helped to increase this and this is from mrs mamudu from zaria i know you have done some work with women i think this is a great opportunity to answer that question well, um, before, prior to now, I was intentional about not making people understand that I trade for us or making people know that I trade for prior to now because I was still in the, let's say my seed was still in, in the ground mm. and I was still trying to work on my psychology. Mm. People know me as a leadership guy, these guys involved in women inclusion, advocacy, leadership, that's what they know me. And all of a sudden, one day I decided to let it out. I'm like, do you trade? I say, yeah. Some, some of my friends will sarcastically ask me, ah! You, trade, what do you know about trading? Do you know I've lost money? I'll be looking at them. And they, 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 they are being sarcastic. You are like, what do you know? You just came into trading and you want to, I would just be looking at them, I would just smile. I say, look, do you know I've been involved in trading since 2005? Is it because I didn't make it public? I've been learning. Now I'm confident and comfortable to let it out mm. because I want people to learn. Mm. So I didn't just wake up from nowhere. Now, speaking of addressing that question, mm. um, I've, since I've been very passionate about uh, women inclusion in leadership and decision making, we've done so many programs around that. Definitely, this period, since I'm bringing out, I'm bringing out my forex or the trading aspect of me, I, I look forward, I'm actually in that process. I'm working with some of the organizations I'm working with. I'm, seeing, I'm looking for how to uh, get some, maybe some of our training programs to introduce these things for these ladies that want to learn these mm. things at reduced cost to encourage yeah, women. Absolutely. So that's what we're working Okay, so at. let me take a comment from Ben Sin, then I will take, uh, AK will take your comment. Major strength is to amass diversified knowledge and apply it. Patience and willingness to amass the required knowledge slash skill is where the real work is. That's from Ben Sin. That, I mean, that's what you rightly said. The person is just reiterating what you said. AK, you have a comment with you. <laughs> okay, so I have a, a comment from a very adherent listener. Yeah, Adi. so he's in the UK. Hi, Adi. He's saying, <laughs> good evening, lady. Thompson Felix is very knowledgeable. Keep the flag flying. So that's a commendation for you, Felix. Yes, and so he, uh, Adi Father said, knowledge gives you wisdom to operate. You know, um, I mean, people are actually loving the fact that you're being real with us because it, I was I was expecting a very technical show that I'll just be pretending like I'm understanding what he's saying. <laughs> you know, I'll just pretend like I get you, but I actually do understand. Same, and I, same here. <laughs> you know, same we had here. planned we had planned it. Okay, we're just going to be pretending like we are, like we understand what he's saying. <laughs> but you are actually making a lot of sense. You know, and you are actually pushing. And this is, I think, this is where. The real work is where people are not ready to do that work. I mean, how many books are you reading about it? How many, how, how long do you spend online to research it? People are never, we are mentally lazy. We, we are never ready to do that work. And that is where the real deal is. So the grief of um, Forex, are you trying to explain? So it, because we're trying to round off now. I mean, we were having so much fun and we've lost uh, track of time. But if we want to say that, you know, hearing you well now is if you are not willing you know, to cut your losses, it means that you are ready for a big failure, a massive failure. So that's one of the, you know, that, that's one of the skills you must learn 
very quickly. You must learn to be able to let go and you must learn to be able to put a, a I mean, you said something about checkmating Checkmate. yourself. So you're not able, you will not get your fingers burnt and don't feel like, oh, I'm a genius, you know. So pride cannot be inside this matter. Uh, <laughs> it cannot be inside this yeah, matter. Yeah, yeah. But have you lost something before, like in terms of your personal journey? Have you lost something major? before well i was going to ask that question <laughs> but you beat me to it in what oh, term then. are you looking at it? in what term are you looking at it in the term of trading or trading the term of yes trading? in the state of sure trading. i saw i lost so much i remember when i you know i started from 2005 yes i was trying to, i was still in high school then mm. so when i left high school that was in my ss1 2005 mm. ss1 now, wow. and then yes okay, i don't yet so now. so and then then in 2000 i actually was not trading but mm. i was with family members that were actually trading, and i was mm. seeing what they were doing mm. and then they were just doing trial and error mm. and then eventually when i got into the university in 2013 when i was i think that was the period of my it then at the university of Benin, i decided to put money i think it was my my dad that gave me some money they were like okay just go and go and practice that and I did it when I lost that money as if I lost a wife. <laughs> I I'm not married, so I don't know how it is to lose a wife. But I know it's very painful to lose a wife that yes, you love. No, it's worse than that, maybe. Yeah. So I, but I, I, like at this point, I gave up. I like, oh, maybe I should not just continue. But somehow, I said, but I need to challenge myself. I can't be a mathematician and I don't know this. Mm. And then the higher I went, I discovered that, look, it's not by mathematics. It's, it's this thing, this year. Mm. It's your mind. Mm. Work on your mind. Now, let me, let me shock you. Um, Peace. You see this Okonjo Weala challenge? I want to be like Dr. Ngozi Okonjo where You tie the, this mm -hmm. thing. You come outside and you want to speak like her. Mm. And you're not ready to do the work like her. You're mm -hmm. going nowhere. So that's the way forest trading is. Mm. So if you really want to be successful, mm. learn to be knowledge savvy mm. and work on your discipline. Now, I, I, going back to the, um, the probability box I told you. Mm. Now, a single trade, if they close your eye and ask you to pick, arbitrarily pick a ball from that, you would not know the ball you pick. You don't know. You're not in control of the outcome, but you're in control of the fact that you walk up to the bo jar and pick and it pick up. pick something, yes. Uh, but you don't know what you're going to pick. Mm. The outcome is none of your business. Mm. But, but you are more likely to pick the black mm. because it has more balls. Mm. So that's what we yeah. is. If you can understand how market theory works mm. by way of studying, understanding, analyzing the news. When I wake up in the morning, I, I listen to the news. Maybe watch my Bloomberg on my YouTube mm. or, or what do you call it, or, or go to their website, look at the news and then look at the charts. Uh, what the chart is telling me, I try to understand. Don't be, you can't be smarter than the market. Don't try to prove I'm too good. I know it will go like this. How do you know it will go like that? Yes, it might actually show you that it's going to go up. But anything can happen. It will go the other way. Mm. So why will you oh shit, some people want to prove that. You get, you lost. Mm. Just let it go. That's the market. Mm. Nobody, you don't know the out, you don't control the outcome. You're only concerned about making sure your system, follow through your system, do those forest trade outside, be disciplined, don't over trade, don't risk too much per, per trade. Most um, professional traders will tell you, don't risk more than 1% per trade, some even risk less than 1%. Mm. So if you lose 1% of your account, it's not going to do anything to you, mm. you let it go. Mm. But if you can watch your system, because the market always repeats itself, it's a regular repeating pattern, because human activities, or let's say our response, okay, let me give you an e example. When was the last time we had a global pandemic? Ah, it's been a long time. Hundred years ago. Yes, 1980. What did they call? What did they call? Over, 18, yeah, 18 something. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Let me not use that. Let me say, okay. Is... If you watch certain response of government policy, policy in 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 a harsh economic situation that has been orchestrated by way of uh, either disaster or pandemic, it's usually similar. Mm. Even though it, the process might be different because we have different dispensations, mm. things have changed. Mm -hmm. But what they are doing is usually similar. Mm -hmm. So these things are always being reflected on the charts, that currency charts you see. Mm. The one you I see think. on the screen, yeah. Mm. So it's, it's the repetition of human activity. So now, if you, since human activities repeat itself, the charts always repeat itself. Mm. You can see this is uh, one of the charts. I think this should be Naira versus US dollar. Mm. Yes, you can see. Keep going up, going mm -hmm. up, going up, going up. Now like that. So it's, it's, it will repeat itself. But the outcome is random. Mm. So what you just need to do as a trader is that be focused more on the process. This is my strategy. My strategy said when the chart behaves like this, this is most likely going to be the outcome. Mm. But however, because we're not good, let's risk little and see plus a stop loss. That's mm. for those that trade margin trade. If you trade options, because there are two ways of trading the forest. Either you trade binary option or you trade um, margin. Margin is peep price base. Why binary option is time base. Most times I trade more of the binary option. Yeah. Mm. So now, you will just risk little and then uh, take the decision in what your chart is as uh, your strategy is asking you to do mm. allow the outcome to be whatever it is it might go your way it might not go your way but mm. after a series of trade 
when that particular pattern repeats itself several times, after a hundred trades, you will have more win than loss. Hmm, I use hundred. Fantastic! Uh, oh my God, Elijah, <laughs> we had so much fun. We really ran out of time. Okay, AK, you have one. Let me quickly um, take a comment. Then you have one final comment for you for me. But AK, do you want to quickly say something? Like I'm just in love with uh, Elijah right now. What you are making so, me so want to go to. Thing I've learned from Elijah, and thank you, thank you, Elijah, for being so truthful. Because I have met other forex trading experts, and it's just the benefits they seem to layer on. Yeah. And everybody comes with applying one algorithm, and everything will be solved. But that you have taught us one thing today: that forex trading is like life itself. And anybody that wants to be an expert in anything, you have to put in learn. the work, you have to study, and you have to learn from your failures that they are led us to um, success. Absolutely. Thank you. For okay, so that uh, Faith commented on our group. Can you read that comment quickly while I take Benson's comment? It says, "Brilliant man." Good energy, excellent motivation to learn above all. A young man, this is the type of youth that gives the country hope. Thank you. I mean, everybody's loving you. Uh, so, Thank you. So Faith says, love your guests, real, realistic, actionable. Absolutely. And she gave the Yes, absolutely. So thank you so much, Elijah. Thank you very much. Wow. We really thank had you, fun. Okay, okay we need to bring him back again. You know, let's do some... We some... need to bring him back. Like, yeah. really, I, I agree. We need to bring him back. Thank you so much, yeah. Elijah. Your yeah, wish is my command. So Just fun. let me know. No problem. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much. Thank and you're you so much. humble. All right, so Waze was birthed from the need to inform, inspire, and influence lives towards action. I mean, this is influence and in and um, towards action and this year we started our csr focused on curbing unemployment in nigeria if you are a company please partner with us by allocating internship slots if you're a job seeker keep watching ways you can reach elijah he will teach you how to make money <laughs> this will be an all-year-round engagement tell a friend to keep all their eyes on ways now in case you missed today's quote here it is again in trading, you can't stop loss from happening, but you can avoid big loss by using stop loss in your trade. That's from Olawale Daniel. We'll see you live on Monday at 8 p.m. as we bring another great conversation to your screen. Enjoy your weekend.